Yesterday I posted a video on my Henry 44 Magnum mare's leg. Now in that video I stated that 44 Magnum will take care of most any four-legged critter you're going to run into in North America. Now in that video a lot of people came on and said I would rather have 10 millimeter. I would rather have 10 millimeter. So I thought I'd take a moment tonight to do a comparison of 10 millimeter versus 44 mag. So let's take a few moments, let's go to the range, and let's see which one is really the better round. Psych, I'm not going to the range to tell you what's better 10 millimeter or 44 mag. What kind of idiot needs to see range footage to know that 10 millimeter is not even close to 44 magnum. Now I know a lot of people fall for the hype that they see in gun magazines. That's where it comes from, the, the 44 mag of the semi-automatic world. Well, saying that the 10 millimeter is the 44 mag of the semi-auto world is like saying that Rosie O'Donnell is the Kelly LeBrock of lesbian daytime talk show hosts. There's no correlation there. It doesn't make any sense. Now, I like semi-autos and I like semi-auto calibers, but let's face it, all semi-auto calibers are compromises. They are a compromised round. They are a ground that had to be shortened down so it would fit in the grip of a handgun. Have you ever shot a Kunin 357 Magnum semi-automatic? Do you ever wonder why it feels like you're holding a 2x4? It's because full-size rounds don't comfortably fit into the grips of guns where they have to be for the feeding mechanism of semi-auto guns that we carry for self-defense. They just don't fit in there. They don't fit in there and leave you a comfortable grip. So these rounds had to be shortened down. So therefore they're compromises. They are reduced. Now, yeah, you can get some pretty hot 10 millimeter ammo. You can get 135 grain ammo up to on average about 180 grain ammo that gets pushed out of the barrel, you know, 1100 up to even like 1600 feet per second, which translates to 500 to 700 uh, foot pounds of energy. But when you start talking 44 Magnum, you're talking bullets up to 250 grain and higher that are being pushed at the same velocities and hitting with energy levels of, you know, 14, 15, 1600 foot pounds of energy. Those two sets of numbers aren't comparable. When you start talking longer barrels, like the 13-inch mare's leg and 18-inch guide guns, you're talking even increased ballistics. You're talking at numbers that are getting within spitting distance of like 30-30 ammo. You're talking great hunting rounds. In fact, there's a lot of debate in the hunting world of whether it's better to hunt with a 44 Magnum out of a rifle or a 30-30 with some animals. So while the 10 millimeter is a great semi-auto round, I mean, it's a dying round, there's not a lot chambered in it anymore, but it's a great round. It's powerful. But is it as powerful as a 44 Magnum? Not even close. Uh, a good 10 millimeter is a decent 357 Magnum, but it's nowhere near a 44 Magnum. So like I said, you don't have to go to the range for this, just look at the map. Now I did have one person get real creative with the map today in the comment section of one of my videos and said, well, yeah, maybe the 44 Magnum is delivering a lot more energy per bullet, but my Glock 20 is delivering a lot more bullets. So when you add it together, that's more energy overall. And I'm like, you realize that that's like saying if I build a footbridge over a koi pond that will hold a thousand pounds, if I march a 400 pound woman across it once a day for three days, on the third day it'll collapse because I've exceeded the thousand pound weight limit. That's not how you do it. You don't add up, oh well I shot it 10 times with a lower caliber bullet so that's more effective than shooting it once with a higher caliber bullet. That's not how you do the math. So in the end, 10 millimeter, Great round. If you love it, love it. If you want to shoot semi-autos, I don't think you can get much that's more powerful. I prefer 357 SIG myself, but 10 millimeters is great. But when you try to compare it to 44 Magnum, you're playing with the big boys and you're out of your league. Kind of a rifle pistol combination. If you know what a mare's leg is, you know what a mare's leg is. Why do I have to explain it? In the hunting world, is is it better to hunt with a well, There's a lot of debate over whether it's better to hunt deer with a 44 Magnum in a, gui uh, a guide gun. Why would I say in a guide gun? You're looking at uh, foot pounds in the range of 2,500. You know, I do this at 3 in the morning so people won't be gunning their engines outside my house. When you start talking out of longer barrels, like the 13-inch on, what the f***, it's the name of that goddamn thing, mare's leg.